2017, we did do a major renovation. So we've added a bunch of components since. One of the big components that we did add was our rig tank. It's meant to mimic the oil rigs, legs that are in the Gulf of Mexico. So you can see we've got a derrick above and a small platform. So anyways, to represent what's on the bottom of the rigs in the Gulf. This is our South Atlantic exhibit. So it's our most popular exhibit. Everybody loves six different species of penguins in the exhibit. So the largest ones right there are king penguins. Those we actually brought to the island in 1998 as eggs and we hatched them out here in the island, and so they are truly BOIs. We've got Gentoo penguins, we've got two species of rockhoppers, chin straps, and macaronis. We do mimic their actual light cycle, so it is based on South Georgia Island, which is off the coast of Antarctica, so that's why it is dark in here. It is going into their winter time now. It's about 40 degrees in the exhibit, and the water temperature is about 54 degrees. It is the second largest exhibit uh, as far as water depth in the United States. So we have both the, the cold penguins and the temperate penguins represented. So we have 10 Humboldt penguins in a smaller exhibit, but the water is cold, which mimics where they're from in Peru. The cold water is, is what they live in, but they can be in the desert regions. So this is our coral lab. Right now we are transitioning it. We were heavily involved in the Florida Reef Track Project, which is a response to a disease stony coral tissue loss disease through the reefs of Florida down into the Caribbean and it's wiping out coral reefs. So this is our South Pacific tank, the bottom of our South Pacific tank. The two jewel tanks over here are full of live coral. This tank actually has replica corals, they're not real. So these are fishes that you would find in the South Pacific. So different levels of, again, of the South Pacific tank and then our jewel tanks to show off some of the smaller fishes. These are our special seahorses. They they came to us from another facility and in that facility they got a disease that took off some of their tails so you'll see some of them their their tail is very very short they do fine they're just not quite as active as others would be so this is our jelly exhibit this is again one of the newest additions when we added in 2017 so some of the cool things in here is the tinafores here we actually collected these out in the back in the bayou so they're in our waters went out and collected those they usually live about three to six months and we've kept them alive over a year. Moon jellies, which we're famous for. We breed a lot of June moon jellies. These are Pacific sea nettles. We just bred these. So we have probably about 800 of these right now we're getting ready to send out. These are what baby jellies look like. You can see what a thyra looks like. So it's just, these are all little baby jelly polyps. Oh we used to have a touch tank here. We stopped having touch because people aren't they're just not very good with taking care when they touch things. And we were losing a lot of jellies. This is another type of nettle, South Americans. I just was like, ah, I can't remember. And then we've got some blue cannonballs. These and those came to us from France. We purchased them in France and had them shipped over. This is our marine mammal exhibit. So we have two California sea lions and five harbor seals. We're holding two harbor seals for Oklahoma City Zoo while they redo their exhibit. Probably our second most popular exhibit. Obi, he's sitting here in the corner. He's got is his. This the whole body? There he goes. Oh, he's quite God. large. So that is he's a like beautiful. A <laughs> oh, he's awesome. Does he open jars? He can. He can open <laughs> jars. He opens feeder devices. He's he's a really cool animal. Wow. So it's one of our harbor seals here. Harbor seals are more standoffish than the sea lions are, but they're still. They're still super cool. Look at the size. Yeah, what? Does the glass make them look bigger than they are? No, he's giant. <laughs> <laughs> he's 600 plus pounds. Oh. And so this is the bottom of the North Pacific seals and then kelp forest as well. Rockfish are lay and wait predators. So their MO is to sit still on something and wait for something to swim by and then they grab it. This is our mangrove tank. It is the last remaining touch tank in the aquarium. It, houses different types of stingrays. So we've got cow nose rays, Atlantic rays, yellow rays. They have choice on whether they want to be touched or not. So they'll come by if they want to. We do cut the stinger off. Yeah. Which really rays only sting you if you step on them or frighten them in some way. That's just a defense mechanism. So this is um, our newest addition. It's our jelly lab. So this is where we actually can breed and grow out jellies. Currently, we have the Pacific sea nettles. 
and then there's a tank back there, and all of those tanks back there have Pacific sea nettles in them. <laughs> we have like a thousand of them. Wow. So we are going to start sending them out to other facilities, thousands and thousands of How them. Um, they only are supposed to live about a year, but we've managed to hold on to some for four years. Wow. So we do really well. Again, these are the Tina fours that we collected. Um, they're going to go out and collect some more of those, and we're going to try to really breed these as well to provide other facilities with Tina fours. Um, and then we have one single Australian spotted jelly back there. We have recently converted this tank. It was a touch tank, but again, we were seeing detrimental effects for the animals. So we've gone to a, a no-touch touch tank. So these are jawfish. You can see they have little burrows, so they get down in their burrows and hide. We've got chocolate chip sea stars over there. We've got uh, neon gobies, urchins, different types of shrimp. If you really want to touch the, the corals and the shells, we're fine with that. And then this is our largest tank. It's over 900,000 gallons. Um, it's our Caribbean tank. This is our largest exhibit. So we have a replica of John Lafitte's ship, the Pride, what they assume his ship looked like. We can go into the coral room and look, and you can see the back of the ship, as well as the mast and the masthead. So this is what we call the wet deck. This is the top of the Caribbean exhibit. So again, you know, a very large exhibit. Uh, this is the tunnel we were just in right down there. So this is where the divers go into the water. It's also where we feed a majority of our stingrays. They'll come up here. We have a very large uh, whiptail ray. She's probably six feet across. That's our new southern. She's just beautiful. 